or just to even face that, like to see the numbers dwindling and you're kind of panicking, but you're trying to keep cool and you're just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is getting real. Yeah, it got real, real. I, um, I had put my own life, like my personal life, it, it was a huge risk. I put my mortgage on forbearance. I um, paid my entire staff their normal salaries all through to when their contract would have been up for, for June and when the enrollments weren't coming back in over the summer and then September came and they were still pretty low. Mm -hmm. I went back to, to grassroots. I walked, hit feet on the pavement in the heat, got my kids and some of their friends and were putting flyers on doors. Mm -hmm. So to have gone from being an established business to starting over right. and risking everything. Um, I had, I, of course, there were sleepless nights that I laid there and I thought, is this worth it? Mm -hmm. And there, there were a lot of conversations with God like, hey, you called me to be here. I had a whole lot of other ideas of what I wanted to do with my life than own a dance studio on Belmont Ave. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I was going to go do this and that and all these other things with my life. And every time I thought I was going to pivot my career, I got pulled back in and not out of um, fear, but like a true sense of purpose and calling mm -hmm. that I was needed. This was the work I was called to do. And I think that the response from my teenage students that summer when I first opened the doors back up the tears and the joy to be able to move again to have dance back to see that so many of them who I didn't even know that they loved dance that much like that was their thing it was a 